Now, University Teachers Association of Ghana has announced an immediate suspension of its ongoing strike against illegal mining, otherwise known as Galamse. In a statement released by the association Tuesday morning, UTEC said its fight against illegal mining remains on course to ensure Ghana's environment is protected from the harmful effects of illegal mining. According to UTEC, suspending the strike was not an easy decision. However, after considering the ripple effect of their action against society, uh, i.e. its students, uh, despite the cause being advanced in the interest of society, leadership called for a vote to reconsider the decision. In a bit, we'll talk to the national president of UTAC who authored that statement, Professor Mamudu Akudugu. But you recall that UTAC's strike was in uh, conjunction or collaboration with the Mother uh, Union, Trades Union Congress, or if you like, organized labor. Uh, they have been demanding an immediate end to uh, illegal and unethical mining, following which government took some steps, including setting up a task force to look into uh, the incidents. And now UTEC has uh, finally called off a strike. Let's find out a bit more from uh, Prof. Good afternoon, Prof. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, good afternoon for having me and good afternoon to your viewers. Indeed, your statement notes that it wasn't an, an easy decision, uh, you know, calling off this strike. What went into coming to that conclusion? Yeah, well, um, for UTAC, our process is totally democratic. And so as leaders, uh, we, we do not have that power to suspend or declare a strike. And so we have to go through the process of uh, giving the directive that the strike be suspended and our members have to affirm that uh, it should be suspended or otherwise. And so... We've been voting across the campuses, and um, the results that we got at the end of the voting process indicated that majority of members are of the opinion that um, we should suspend the strike and, uh, and pursue other options and observe whatever that has been put in place by government uh, so that if the desired results are not achieved, then we may uh, resume. Mm, I see. So what considerations were made uh, to call off the strike? Basically, two main considerations. The first one is happiness in the country. Uh, at the moment, we know that uh, one of the, the arms of government has been uh, adjourned indefinitely. That's parliament. And we know the role they have to play in some of the demands that we've made. And uh, also, the second key option or key consideration was um, balancing the interests of our students with the demands that we were making. Mm. And so these are the two key considerations that went into our decision to suspend the strike for now. Mm, I see. Uh, you know, the strike was against illegal and unethical uh, mining. UTAG was insisting that government does something about that uh, as soon as it can. Uh, do you think that those demands have been met? Uh, not at all. The demands have not been met. But as I said, uh, given the exigencies of the time and balancing with the interests of our students, um, members thought that we've worked so hard to, to restore the academic calendar after uh, the COVID uh, incidents. And uh, also, the, 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 in, the future that we are fighting for uh, includes also preparing our younger generation to take over but, from But, us. Prof, I'm sure you, Tag, must have known this when he decided to break away from TUC to insist on a strike. Are you under pressure by, from government to call off the strike? We, not at all. We're not under pressure from government or from anybody to call off the strike. The, the, you remember, us at the time, we, uh, we insisted that we wanted to proceed on this strike. We didn't know that parliament would adjourn indefinitely, for example. And so there are happenings that you cannot predict. And uh, when they happen, uh, you have to live with the reality. And that is the reality we are in. So to what extent can we continue um, to, to, to be on strike when we know that one of the key actors 
in, in fulfilling our demands uh, has uh, gone indefinitely. And so, I mean, I yes, we knew, we, we knew some of this, but definitely we couldn't predict uh, that some other happenings will, 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 will mm. uh, be in place. Yeah. Well, well, Prof, I want to refer you back to that statement which indicated that you, you will continue to strongly fight against illegal mining. What else do you have left in your arsenal? What we have left is the, the, the getting the, the flag bearers to commit to, to, to fighting this right, when they get the power of the people come December 7th. And so we have drafted a pack already that will be approaching the, the flag bearers of um, the 2024 uh, presidential elections to commit or to assign to, to, to that, to commit to uh, fighting, uh, continuing the fight against uh, illegal and irresponsible mining uh, across the country. Um, beyond that, we are researchers, we are, we, we, we are, um, teachers, and so we will also be doing advocacy, evidence-based advocacy across the country on the, 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 the negative impacts and the implications of uh, this mm. responsible mining in the I long see. term across uh, mining communities. Mm. Prof, uh, just before I let you go, uh, just, just a quick response to the MPP statement from yesterday uh, claiming that UTAG's uh, strike was politically motivated, particularly by the opposition party, NDC? We, we will be uh, giving an official response uh, to the MPP, the youth wing of the MPP. We consider it uh, very unfortunate and uh, to the extent that it's an insulting to the intellectual community of this country that uh, a political party and an individual within UTAC could be that uh, powerful to influence over 2,000 members across, uh, being professors across the uh, across Ghana, voting for a uh, declaration of a strike. We 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 uh, we, we believe that um, the MPP youth wing uh, are not informed of the operations of UTAC. And we'll call on them to better understand how UTAP operates and how our constitution might. And it's uh, the, the, the how leaders go about their, their duties. And so to think that. A party that is invasion, and of course, probably that is why we are where we are. Mm. And uh, we, 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 we see the statement as very unfortunate, and even to the extent of talking about sex for grades, where the evidence indicates that uh, the person was uh, freed of all these allegations, and that's why he's still at post. Mm, and very so well. it's unfortunate that the, 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 the MPP youth wing went that way. Mm, I see, Prof. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon. I appreciate your time. Uh, Professor Mamudu Akudugu is president of UTAG.